All right, we're back, and in this tutorial, we're going to use the graph editor to take our one hop animation and make it in where there's a perpetual hop. We're going to take that hop and repeat it over time. So, uh, this is what we have. I have a, a little jump, and it kind of uses our squash and stretch. And we have animated three or four attributes, I think four. We've done the translate X, the translate Y. That's from left to right. This is up and down. And then this is the rotation. So as he jumps, there's a little bit of rotation. And then we have the uh, scale Y, which controls the squash and stretch. And you can take a look at any of these. And just for fun, I'm going to uh, flatten my tangents here. And you could change these curves but uh, and I'm just hitting W so this is that kind of uh, bounce at the end and that one I definitely want to flatten because that one has to come into this one alright <coughs> alright and the scale X and Z we don't have to worry about because they're controlled by the expression. So now that we have that, it ends or begins the same place it ends. Now we can go into our attribute, uh, our graph editor, and we can begin to play hit F with infinity. Now you may or may not see this dotted line. If you do not see it, you have to go to view infinity without infinity checked uh, you don't see anything and basically it's saying what is the value what do you want us to do after this last keyframe you want us to maintain the current state and that's what uh, that's the default and it kinda has that dotted line uh, notice that if I were to change this angle well never mind the default is going to keep that steady whatever that last keyframe is but we can change that so we can select all of these and there's a place you know, make sure you have your infinity if you go to curves post infinity we can say hey we want to cycle we can cycle with offset we can oscillate linear so this is this is the guy he's, he's moving forward uh, if we were to do a cycle it's gonna he's gonna start at the origin and move 40 units to the right and he's going to start at the origin again and go 40 units to the right and start at the origin again um, cycle is is very uh, beneficial but not in this case uh, see so he, he'll go and then he starts back and this is the only one we've uh, cycled so there's none of the other so that's not what we want but that could be very useful with some of our other attributes to the cycle of the post infinity uh, something else we have here is cycle with offset. Now that's what we want. What that does is says, hey, we're going to keep this animation curve, but we're going to start it at the position of the last keyframe. That way, if he's moving in a, a single direction, he, he moves, and then he, that be, becomes a new starting point, and the curve adds from there. So that's uh, cycle with offset. We see that, and now. In, then he's going to slide, and if we added more keyframes, you'd see more. But he, let me stop that. This, uh, and notice how it keeps going. So that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, and it just keeps going forever. <laughs> so uh, what else do we have here? We also have a uh, oscillate, which is uh, it takes. it takes this curve and it reverses it so it goes up and it goes back so now we're going to have this number where it bounces up and then slides back slides forward slides back uh, that would be really good for like a pendulum effect or something of the sort all right so where were we uh, basically when, when you're using a, a translate you want to use the curve post infinity cycle with offset and then when we go to this translate this one we want to use 
uh, just a cycle because it's up and down, up and down, and then we want to use cycle also with uh, rotate and with the scale. Okay, and it's very important that all of these end on the same keyframe. And if uh, if that's the case, then what we should get is now it keeps bouncing down the road. And I'm going to end here, and in the next one, I'm going to wrap up and uh, give you a few more instructions. But I hope this made sense. The graph editor is your friend, and uh, the post infinity things are very interesting and cool because you can you only have to like for a walk cycle you'd only have to animate one step or two steps and then you could uh, have it go on forever so that's it and hope you enjoyed it and uh, do use this in this week's assignment